Joseph was taken away to Egypt by the Ishmaelites. His brother had sold him to them for 20 silver coins. Eventually, on reaching Egypt, Joseph was traded to a man named Potiphar. He was an official who worked with the Pharaoh. Potiphar was pleased with Joseph as he was hardworking and honest. So he placed Joseph in charge of everything in his household and all his businesses. Potiphar's wife was attracted to Joseph. She wanted Joseph to sin against God, but Joseph would not listen to her, and so she became angry at Joseph. Potiphar's wife lied to Potiphar about Joseph, saying he was a cheat. Potiphar believed her and became angry and put Joseph in the Pharaoh's prison. There were two men with Joseph in his prison cell. One was a cupbearer of the Pharaoh, while the other was a baker. Joseph used to listen to their conversations. One day, the baker and the cupbearer were talking about their dreams. I had the strangest dream in the night. I have no clue what it all means. You too? I had a dream and I couldn't understand it either. I wish I could find somebody to explain what these dreams actually mean. Well, we'll have to get out of here first. Maybe I can help you. Who are you, boy? My name is Joseph and I used to work with the Pharaoh's official. I have committed no crime but they put me in jail. I used to be the Pharaoh's cupbearer and he is a baker. What do you mean when you say that you can help us? Um, well, God helps me understand dreams. Tell me your dream and I will explain it to you. Well, I don't know if you can help me, but this was my dream. I'm standing in a vineyard and I see a vine with three branches. I see ripe grapes in these branches. I pluck the grapes and squeeze them into a cup in my hand and hand the cup to the pharaoh. Hmm. This dream is telling you that in three days you will be freed from this prison and taken back as the pharaoh's cupbearer. You will be with the pharaoh in his place in three days. But please, when you see him, please remember me and put a word for me and help me get out of here. That is amazing, boy. If I get out of here, I promise you that I will help you get out too. Hey, boy. If you're so smart, explain me this dream. I have three baskets of baked eats on my head. Birds come out and eat the baked eats, but they don't eat from the top basket. They are picking at the food that's in the basket resting on my head. Hmm. This dream is pretty bad, my friend. It means that in three days, the pharaoh will cut your head off and throw your body out for the birds to eat. That's ridiculous. Go away, boy, with your stupid stories. The king released the cupbearer from prison and took him back into his court. The baker was released from prison and executed by the guards as well. Everything happened just as Joseph had said. However, the cupbearer forgot about Joseph when he reached the palace. So Joseph had to stay in prison for a long, long time. After a long time, one day, the pharaoh woke up in the morning and he was worried. He was worried about a dream that he kept seeing every day. He called his guards and servants, but nobody could explain his dream for him. Then the cupbearer remembered about Joseph and spoke to the pharaoh. Your majesty, I have a friend who could help you. He has the gift of explaining dreams very clearly. Unfortunately, he's in prison. 
He says he has been put there for no crime of his. The Pharaoh ordered for Joseph to be brought out of prison. And so, finally, after a long time, Joseph was released from the Pharaoh's prison and was brought to the palace by the guards to see the Pharaoh. Joseph had finally arrived at the palace.